Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ali Lindley here. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to upload a private dashboard to Tableau Public. This is a solution that we've walked through with a couple of our clients recently who might be in your situation. Uh, a lot of them have wanted to share dashboards with a lot of end users, you know, with board members, with fellow team members, with, you know, a variety of end users. But they don't really have the means to purchase a whole bunch of Tableau Cloud or server, you know, Tableau Online memberships uh, to, to make sure that they can share it that way. So what uploading a dashboard to Tableau Public could offer is some degree of privacy for that dashboard. So it's not really gonna be visible on your profile. We'll talk through some of the intricacies, uh, but it does mean that anyone can have access to that dashboard. So I'll walk you through how to upload something to Tableau Public and make sure that it's private, and then talk you through some of the options to, you know, about making that private and, and what exactly that means and how to share it. Okay, you can download this workbook, but it's just one worksheet, so you might as well build your own and follow along with me. The first step is to sign in to Tableau Public. Now, sometimes this can be a little bit frustrating if Tableau is asking you for your site URL and you're struggling to find that. If you are and it's causing some frustration, just go down here to the Tableau Public menu and say save to Tableau Public as. And for some reason, it's a lot easier to, to log in this way. I find you don't need your URL. You just need your Tableau username and password. And then generally you're through. So if that is a struggle, try that. The second thing is Tableau is probably going to prompt you to extract your data because anytime you upload a workbook to Tableau Public, it's got to be with extracted data. So if you want to do that yourself, you can right click and extract this data and just follow all the steps. Uh, otherwise, it is going to prompt you and you can just, you know, you can click the button that says create extract, then you're good to go. So I'm going to go to Tableau Public and save to Tableau Public as, which just allows me to name my workbook before I publish it. Private workbook, that's a good That's a good name for our video. Uh, there's nothing special about naming your workbook private whatever. Uh, there's nothing in the naming convention that's gonna make it private. But the thing that makes it private is that once this is on Tableau Public, I need to go over to that dashboard and uh, manually sort of delist it from my profile. So by default, anything you upload is gonna be visible to everyone. So what I'm gonna to have to do is go over to this little cog icon, the settings icon, and uncheck show viz on profile. That's gonna make sure that it's still tied to my profile, right? This is still private workbook by Oliver Lindley, but when you search for my profile, you won't see this workbook. Now, there are two disclaimers. One, this is not perfectly private, right? It's not like we have accessibility settings for this workbook. All this means is it's unlisted. So it's, as far as I know, it's not gonna show up in any searches on Tableau Public or on Google. And I've tried to search a lot of my hidden dashboards and I haven't found any. So, so <laughs> take it with a pinch of salt, but I think, it's, I think that's, the, that's the truth. And um, if it's unlisted, it means that you can share the link with your colleagues, with end users, and they can access the dashboard. The one flip side is anyone with the URL can access this dashboard. So if there is truly confidential information that would be terrible if it got out, don't put that in your dashboard. Don't put in social security numbers or you know things like that. Uh, that really would be a train smash if, if they can get out. But if you want something private, you want, um, you know, the majority of, of the privacy settings are just, I wanna make, I wanna control who's got the URL. This might be a nice way of doing it. The second thing that you might wanna do is uncheck allow access. That just means that, hey, if this URL does get into the wrong hands, they can't download the workbook. And hey, anyone interacting with it can't download the workbook. Often if I've made a dashboard private, I check this setting too, uh, just to make sure that, that we're completely safe. Then the final step is how to share this properly. And I'll walk you through that now. But if you wanna learn more about Tableau, why not join us for one of our classes? We're super excited about a little suite of classes that we put together and you can access all of them for a one-time fee with our Tableau training passport, uh, which we're super excited about, which gives you a 50% discount on all our classes. So if you wanna share these, clicking this little share button is the way to go. And you can copy the link down at the bottom if you just want access to that to you know uh, insert it into an email or something like that or you can just jog that straight away you know and dive into an email you can also embed this somewhere if you want to uh, but i think because we want this to be private this might be the best way to go 
I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is certainly something that I've used a lot and could save you a lot of money if this kind of ticks the boxes for what you are looking for in your particular situation. All right, if you've got any other questions, pop them down in the comments below. Uh, we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. And if there are any other videos or tutorials that you want us to make, we love those suggestions. So feel free to fire away. Until next time, keep well.